أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن شر سيئات أعمالنا ثم الصلاة والسلام على خير الأنام سيدنا محمد حلت النور جارين وروح القومين ووارث السكلين والآله العبرات وصحابه الأتياء وأصواجه الأخياء وذرياته والمهاجرين والأنصاريين وعلى الملائكة المكردين والأنبيائه المرسلين ولا تؤتي الصالحين صلوات الله وسلام الله عليهم أجمعين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا في كما يليك بجلاله وبسلطانه وبقدرته وبعظمته حمدا على كل حال حمدا قبل كل حال حمدا بعد كل حال والحمد لله رب العالمين ايها المستمعون الكرام في كل جيه وصيت لكم اليوم اقول السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته الخطبتنا اليوم تريد سماع أسباب عدم الاستجابة للدعاء المروة That's today our topic we are going to discuss We are praying day and night but know the sign of the prayer we are used to normally do day and night. One of the Islamic scholars that has passed, he was called Ibrahim, the son of Abihama. He was a person one day through the market. Marra Tabi al Jalil Ibrahim ibn Adama Rahimahullah. He was called Abba Ishaq, the father of Ishaq. He was passing through the markets one day at Basra. There was one place called in Basra. It was his former site. He was called by his people. Ya Abba Ishaq. The father of Ishaq. Inna Allah Ta'ala yakulu fi kawlihi. The Almighty Allah said in his own words. Surah Al-Ghafir. Chapter 66. Chapter 60, sorry. Wa kala idiwuni Hastajibu lakum. You should make request from me. I'm your Lord. I'm the one who created the hand and the heaven. Ask what you need from me. Request. Pray. Hastajibu lakum. If you request, I will answer you. I normally answer you because I know your mind. But today, the people of Abba Ishaq, Ibrahim, the son of Adi Hama, he was called Abu Ishaq. People told him that we are praying this, this now a day. But no sign, no significance of the prayer. Abu Ishaq was told them Wanaanu nadi Allah 
According to what Almighty Allah said that request what you need from me is only me that can do everything for you. Don't make any request from anybody. Just ask from me. Although you are not seeing me, but I'm seeing you. But when I'm not Allah, we are praying. Maybe during our prayers, the daily prayers, or in the night, when we wake up in the night, we used to pray, we request what we want from God. But no discipline. No designs of the prayer we are normally doing day and night. And the Almighty said in another chapter in the Quran, Baiza Varak Chavanzob wa ila Rabbika Varizob. When you pray the obligatory prayer, when you pray finish, just be patient and request what you need from me. One man under the Allah, you are praying. You are called God. Do this for me, do this for me, but no discipline, no sign of prayer. For Kola, Abu Ishaq, which is called Ibrahim, the son of Adihama. For Kola, Lah, Lianna Kulubu Kumata to the Asherat in Asia. I want to tell you the reason why, why you are making requests from God. That God use or slightly answer your request. I want to tell you the 10 things that make it difficult for you to make your prayer answered. Number one. Haraftum Allah walam you know Allah, but you fail to fulfill His right on you. Every of all, every one of us, we know Allah. God is one. But are you used to fulfill His right to you? No. That is number one. One of the, the ten things that is stopping your prayer to make it answer easily when you make re- re- requests from God. That is number one. Arabtullah, walam tudahu haqqahu. You know him? God is there. He was one created in the heaven and her heart. The human being, the one you see, never see animals, the jinn, the ains, and some other things. But do you ever Give him his right. You normally put your mind to another person when you are praying to God. You have need something. But the thing you need when you are praying, you have to have focus in your mind that what I'm needing is only one thing, is only some, someone that do it for me is Almighty Allah. That is number one. Number two. Wa quratum li Walam Tavalubihi. You used to read Quran. You always read Quran without putting into an action. You read Quran, you like Quran, you want Quran. And you follow what Quran says to you. You carry Quran day and night. You know the meaning of what Almighty Allah says? Are you walking with it? No. If you are working with it, all what you, you do is you must avoid it before your answer must be answered. You, you always read Quran day and night, but without putting it in action. Number three. Was Hampton Hubba Nabi Yikun Wataraktu Sunnata? You claim loving your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but you neglected or you neglecting his 
sunnah. All of us will say Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu alayhi wa sallam. You love him. And he show your love to him. Everywhere you are used. But are you walking on sunnah? All what Ibrahim, the son of Adihama, Abu Ishaq, mentioned, is some of what is caused your prayer not to be answered in time. Slightly, your prayer to be answered. Your request from God. That is number number three. You love Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Are you following Sunnah? Are you doing Sunnah? Go and read it. Go and look for it. Go and meet those who know about the Sunnah very well, and let them, let let them tell you what the Sunnah says. We have two sources of Syria. Two sources of Syria. When about Time Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, was about to leave, was about to die, he mentioned two things. Tarak tum liyam, I'm about to leave you. Walakin tarak tum lakum ismain. I leave two things for you. Kitab Allah, the book of Almighty Allah, wa sunnah al nabi, and the sunnah. Today, are you following the sunnah, Prophet? Because the, the, the prayer you want to do, you want to make a request from God, there are some things that the high term is supposed to be practiced before your prayer to be answered. Clean to God. Make ablution. Is that okay? What of the sunnah? If you want to pray, make ablution. Because the ablution you did is one of the things that will clean you from death. That is number one. Be in a clean place. A surut. Surut to dua. Be in a normal place. Use the very clean clothes. Don't, don't eat aram. Don't, think, don't, eat, don't drink aram. One of the, the followers of President Muhammad missed one province one day. He said, I'm going to aram. I'm going to aram. What I wear is forbidden. What I'm drinking, what I'm eating, I got it from Haram. How do you want the Almighty Allah to answer your prayer? So, we love only Prophet Muhammad. But, are we ever follow the Sunnah of Prophet? When you are praying and you want to be answered, you want to be prayer to be answered. That is number three. Number four. Wakultum. Inna shaitanu lakum aduun. Wa wafakitu murhi. You say, you always say, shaitan is your enemy. But you always fit with him. Inna shaitan lakum aduun. According to what Quran I have told you already, that in the shaitan lakum adu wumubi is your enemy. Go and look the story of your false father, which prophet Adam. See what he has did to him. So he's our enemy. Shaitan is our enemy. But you took shaitan as your enemy, but you are still playing with shaitan. And you want your prayer to be answered. No. All what Shaitan introduced to you, you used to practice it every day and night. And then you want your God to answer your prayer, to give you your request. But let me tell you something today. God, Allah Wahid, La Sharika, Lahu fi mulki, Lahu mulku samawat wal ad. وَمَا فِيهِنَّ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ The seven clouds here. You know what it's here? The land, the house, you are living on it. It's the only one person who holds everything. Which is Almighty Allah. لَمْ يَلِدْ Nobody born him. وَلَمْ يُولَدْ No child for him. وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفْوًا أَحَدْ 
know anything, no partner that would share his privacy with him. He was one can do everything for human being and non human being. So if they have one believing, we can believe that one. So since that is the only Almighty Allah can make your request, can do your request, can make you what you want to be in life. And then you take Shaitan as your friend. How do you allow Almighty Allah to make you, to give you your request? That is number four. Number five. وَقُلْتُمْ إِنَّكُمْ مُسْتَكُونَ إِلَّا الْجَنَّةِ وَلَمْ تَعْمَلُ لَهَا you claim a destiny to enter the paradise, but you never work for it. All of us, al jannah, al jannah, want al jannah, want to be in al jannah, want to. Are you working for al jannah? You think just your only salat can make you al jannah, enter al jannah, al doubts, the paradise? No. You know we have what is a, a, a pillar, the five pillar. To make you be a full Muslim. But out of the, the five, the three of it is compulsory. The two of it is voluntary. The first one, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah. Know it in your mind that know any other person. Create all what you are seeing, all what you are here, all what you are looking to on social media. Only mighty Allah is the owner of everything. Wahdah, he was the one. La sharika la. Don't combine anything with him. Wa anna Muhammada Rasulullah. And Prophet Muhammad, he was his messenger. That's number one, the first thing. The second pillar is he called salah. Daily prayer. Five days prayer. The third one is a zakat. That zakat is voluntary for you. If you, you don't have the money, the percentage of money you're supposed to have throughout the year, the zakat is not compulsory on you. There are some people that they live 80 years, 90 years in this life that they not do zakat. God will not have why do you not do zakat? Because they never meet up with the percentage what's supposed to have in money and the property in jewels and in everything in jewels to make you remove zakat in your property. So that zakat out of the five the pillar, oath, Islam is voluntary, is not compulsory. Number four. Was so more Ramadan. That Ramadan is compulsory for everybody. Even if there is no chance for you, if your head disappointed you not to be fast. You God give an option. Try to make someone happy. Give him suhoor and ita. What is the want for suhoor? But the reward of Giving the shukur and then giving the iftar to someone to represent your fasting. If you check the reward of it, totally different. To for someone who fast for God. That is number four. That number four is compulsory for everybody that he was called himself or herself Muslim. The last one. وحج البيت لمن استطاع إليه السبيلة. Perform the pilgrimage. Going to Hajj. Going to Hajj is called al fard We have two parts. Fard al-Ain. Fard al-Kifaya. Al-Zakat. 
Hajj. The two of the, the brethren, the two of the pillar, is called Faridun Kifaya. It's for part of people. It's not for every Muslim. If you don't have money, don't steal. Don't borrow for Hajj. No. One day, yeah, it has been a long year. 1994, I was in a Hajj. That Hajj is Friday to uh, Arafat. I met one woman who lost his horse. If they put us at the same place, later they separate us when we move from Mecca, as we move from Medina to Mecca after the performing the, for the, the lesser Hajj. This is called Umrah. And I entered the forest and I made the first, I hold it. Before I reached the woman, he don't open ears. Totally naked affair. Southing that day, 1948 years. I was hatched that day. Southing in a cooperative. Now money I borrow from cooperative in the south. That day. God doesn't want that one. Don't borrow money for hatch. It's not composting on you if God is not called you. Because it's part of the occupier. When they said part of the eye. As salat, shadu Allah ila illa Allah, wa adama bin Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa ikamu salat, wa ramadan, as somu ramadan, the three things out of the five pillars is the one composed for all of us. Al-Hajj, awalan, wa sakat, part of the occupier. Part of you. If you don't have capacity, don't push yourself. God will free you. Today, wa kultu inna mustahlikuna illa jannah wa lam tamal bi. You are claim to enter al jannah, but you never work for it. Let me stop at number six. Wa kultu inna takafuna nara wa lam taharabu bi. All of us we are waiting for the, the evil. I don't want to go in fire, but you are walking towards the fire. All what we are doing is part of what makes our prayer slightly or to refuse to be answered by Almighty Allah. Ibad Allah, Nahnu salamuna amsa na salaman kathiran, wa la yajfirna dhunuba il ant, wa gfir lana magfira kamin indika wa rahamuna, inna ka anta al-gafur rahim, Ibad Allah, tubu illa Allah ya tawbata al-nasu. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير الأنام سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه ومن ولا عباد الله إن الله يعمر بلاد والإحسان وإيتاء ذا الكربة وينئاء عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يئذكم لا لكم تذكرون ليس الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين let me translate my words to, to my language a little bit, just one minute. I don't care for how long. I thought, okay, the family was Muhammad. Jima I think only Okbari was September. I don't think it was the first Jima of Rabi Ula Awan. I don't know if I was a Shima for a while. I don't know if I was a Shima for a while. I don't know if I was a Shima for a while. I don't know if I was a Shima for a while. Ibrahim Ibn Adiyama. So just come on, walk far. I'm back to the law. I'm not going to join. 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 I'm not going to you stand, you need, you do everything, you be perfect. But you want to pray to God, God Almighty Allah. You just sit down like this, you sleep like this, you do like this to God, and then you are you are making a request. God will say this one is not serious. It's not serious for me. So we have a lot of work to do. Just less of you. So put the way to Kokawa, a get key arm and concentration. They go put along no fair, that ginati, calibari to the alone. So that's how I do let's rest on our hand for prayer. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنب إلا جبرته ولا هم إلا فرجته ولا دين إلا قريته ولا مريض إلا شقيته ولا حصير إلا يسر 
kafaita wala adua illa kafaita wala hajata min hawaj dunya wal akhirah hiya laka aridu wala nasalaha illa qoritaha ya rahman rahimin ya rabbal alamin wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallim taslima aywa ta wa ibadu rahman alon ti bega alon no len le ibu min salam to sifu alon bawa pariye subhan rabbika rabbil ayyati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin aqim as salam